Thank you so much. Now, um, this is what we need. We need potatoes. We need um, chicken, and what I did was I cut it in little chunks. This is breast um, chicken, chicken breast. Um, Sazon Goya, and over here is my sofrito. I will leave the link to my sofrito um, in the description box below also. You need one green pepper, one onion, and over here is melted um, butter or spread. And I added three tablespoons, okay, three tablespoons of garlic. This is what you see right here. This is chopped garlic, okay, mixed with butter. I use the balsamic vinegar. Focus, there you go. And then I use um, extra virgin olive oil. And then I add some adobo. And I am going to chop the potatoes and the uh, green peppers and the onions and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, so as you can see, I chopped up the potatoes. I used a dozen potatoes and this is the chicken right here. See how I cut it in chunks? All right, you can um, you can add as much potatoes as you like and you can add as much chicken as you like. I used three pounds of chicken um, breast, chicken breast, and I used 12 potatoes, okay? Now, here I have melted butter, or uh, you can use some spread also, and I added um, my pepper, I added pepper, and I added some salt, so there's, um, and garlic too, there's pepper, sorry I'm using one hand, I'm using, I used um, pepper, and you can see the minced garlic, I used three tablespoons of butter, no, 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 sorry, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of butter, and I used three tablespoons of garlic. Then I added some pepper, and I added some salt, and um, this is my um, homemade sofrito. I added two tablespoons of my sofrito, and then I have, I've chopped up the onions, with the green peppers, as you can see. I used one green pepper and I used one large onion. And you mix it all up. And um, I'm gonna use, first I'm gonna use, let me see what I'm gonna do, because I only have one hand. So I'm gonna add the green peppers and the, um, the onions. Then I'm gonna add the garlic with the butter and that's my oven telling me that it's already preheated then I'm gonna go ahead and add some adobo Oh good, my camera girl is here now. She went out, Kiara, so now she can hold my camera for me. And now I'm gonna add some olive oil. Kiara, I need for you to hold my camera, please. Hold my camera. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna add some olive oil. Then I'm gonna add some, oh I love this guys. I know I mentioned it before, I cannot stress this. I love this. If you don't have it in your kitchen, buy it. Balsamic vinegar, it's really, really good. And I'm gonna add my sofrito. Hi, Ora. Now I'm gonna add two of the sazon right here, sazon goya. Let me 
another one. I've done this recipe before. The only thing is that I haven't added the balsamic um, vinegar and I didn't add the garlic the way I added it now. Okay, that I changed a little bit and um, only because I discovered the balsamic um, vinegar about maybe two months ago. All right, so now at this point, I am going to mix mix it all up. The oven you preheat, you preheat the oven at 425 for about 15 minutes. 425 degrees, you preheat it for 15 minutes and then you put it in the oven and you periodically check up on it like maybe every 15 minutes every 10 15 minutes you check up on it make sure that that um it's not dry but i doubt it because after like the five the first five ten minutes all the juices this already has natural juices the juices from the meat and everything else all makes you see but it's gonna have a lot more than that you might have to drain it somewhere along the line. You might have to drain, take take some of the juice out. But as you can see, I'm mixing it up. You mix all the ingredients up. And that's it, guys. Now, I'm going to put it in the oven now. Again, 425 degrees. You put it in the oven for like maybe half an hour to an hour. You keep checking up on it every 10-15 minutes. You check up on the meat and the potatoes. Alright, so it's ready to go in the oven. And I'll get back to you in about 15-20 minutes. Check up on it. Alright guys, so after 15 minutes you check up on it. And this is what you do. You stir it, you mix it. Mix it up with all it's juices you see what i mean what about the juices look at that you see but it looks like i might not have to drain it so okay like every 15 minutes or so i'm gonna check up on it so this is the first 15 minutes i'm gonna put it back in the oven and that's it you just check up on it and you stir make sure that it, that the juices are still there it doesn't dry up okay i'm gonna get back to you in about another 15 minutes and this is the end result, guys. After about an hour, it took an hour to do. I checked up on it 15 minutes ago and it still wasn't done. But this is how it looks. It took an hour, exactly an hour to bake. Oh my God, guys, it smells so good. I wish you could smell this. Mm -mm. It depends on your oven and the amount that you make. It, it would take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. And this took, for me, it took an hour to do. And there you go, my requested, my requested recipe for chicken, garlic, and potatoes. Look at that. Oh my God, look at how good that looks. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my God. Oh my guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Besitos. Bye bye. I'm gonna wish them a uh, blessed day, a wonderful day. Give me a subscribe. Oh, you want them to subscribe?